Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to add your own drum kit to BandLab. So first off, we're going to click on Add Track. And then from the pop-up list, we're going to click on Sampler. Now, if the Sampler pane has not opened at the bottom of the screen, you can click on the Sampler tab to open it. And here you can see that there are three ways to add your own drum sounds. If you have a microphone connected to your computer, you can click on a sampler pad, then click on record and record each acoustic drum of your acoustic drum kit to a different sampler pad. Or if you have the audio output of your electric drum kit connected to your computer, you can do the same. You will need to click on the three dots icon next to the headphones monitoring icon and select your device and input channel for your mic and audio cables. If you have recorded your drum kit already and saved the recording as an audio file, you can click on a sampler pad then click on Import and select your audio file. Or you can click on a sampler pad, then click on Browse and choose a BandLab audio sample. Here I have recorded my drums to an audio track in BandLab. But I can't directly use this recording in the sampler. So I will click on the three dot icon on the track header. And then click on export as audio on the pop-up menu. The audio file will be saved to your computer's download folder. Now click on the sampler pad named V. Click on Import. Click on your download folder. Then double click on the drum kit audio file. Be aware the audio track must be no more than one minute long. If it is longer, you will see this message and only the first one minute of your audio file will be loaded. Now drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the kick sound. Then click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Next, click on the sampler pad named N. Click on import. And double click on your drum kit audio file. Now drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the snare sound. Then click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Then click on the sampler pad named H. Click on Import. Double click on the drum kit audio file. 
and drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the closed hi-hat sound. And then click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Now click on the group drop list and click on one. The hi hat sounds are added to a group, so a hi hat sound will stop any other hi hat sounds from playing. This is important when using the open hi hat sound. Now click on the sampler pad named R. Click on Import and double click on your drum kit audio file. Then drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the foot hi hat sound. and click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Then click on the group drop list and click on one. Now click on the sampler pad named Y. Click on import and double click on the drum kit audio file. Now drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the open hi-hat sound. Click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Click on the group drop list and click on one. Now click on the sampler pad named U. Click on import. Double click on the drum kit audio file. Then drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the high tom sound. and then click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Now click on the sampler pad named T. Click on import. Double click on the drum kit audio file. and drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the mid tom sound. And then click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Now click on the sampler pad named J. Click on Import. Double click on the drum kit audio file. 
and drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the floor tom sound. Then click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Next, click on the sampler pad named 7. Click on Import. Double click on the drum kit audio file. Drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the ride sound. and click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Now click on the sampler pad named five. Click on import. Double click on the drum kit audio file. and drag the trim markers on the wave image to select the crash sound. Then click on the toggle circle to the left of the word one shot. Now you might be wondering why the drum sounds are added to these particular sampler pads. Well, the sampler pads can be played with MIDI key notes. And the key notes of these pads correspond to the standard BandLab MIDI drum kit key notes. So now you can play this sampler drum kit on an electric drum kit, the same way you can play a BandLab virtual instrument drum kit or the BandLab drum machine. If you need to adjust the volume of any of the sounds, click on the pad, then press on the volume knob and drag up or down to change the volume. You can also adjust the position of each drum or cymbal in the stereo mix by pressing on a sampler pad, then pressing on the pan knob to adjust the position left or right of centre. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!